Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel for another card video. So today I'm sharing two new stamp sets, Best Fishes and Best Fishes Sentiment Stamp from the new release over at Whimsy Stamps. Now I'm gonna give you a quick look at these stamp sets. Now I love the fish, they're really fun and they're cute. And I have to say these sentiments are really fun. That Gonna need a bigger cake really cracked me up because I could just hear the theme music to Jaws playing in my head. So I love the fish because a few of them are like pretty happy and ready to party while one or two of them are saying, yeah, yeah, can I go home now? <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and start stamping these with my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink onto 80 pound Nina Classic Crest cardstock. Now I'm going to use Copic markers to color these cuties. Now before I started coloring, I looked at pictures of different fish for inspiration and I came across a couple of angel fish that I thought were perfect for Valentine's Day cards. Now one of the fish had a pink body. It was a lighter pink on the outer edges of the body and then as it you moved in towards the center it became darker it was so pretty so I that's what I'm going to do here with the RV 52 and then come into the center with RV 55 and RV 09 and then I'm just going to work my way back out to blend some of that out I'm also going to go into the fins with N0 and N2 just to add a little bit of color so uh, once I get this all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and start on that next fish. And I'm going to be using BG10, BG13, BG15, and BG18. And I'm going to start with the lightest color, BG10, and then work my way up through the colors to add a little bit of shading. Then we'll blend all of that out by working our way back down through those colors and ending with BG10. Now, for the body, I just decided to do a, a light N0, add a tiny bit of N2, and then blend those out with N0 again. I also left a little bit of white space there. Now, one thing I love doing is adding some details with my gel pens. So I've grabbed the Stardust Jelly Roller and I'm adding little dots to the images. I thought this silvery iridescent color would be perfect with this. So I'm gonna move on to the next images and I want these to be bright and bold because I'm making a birthday card. So I'm using YG05 to cover the body of this angler fish. And then I'm gonna come in with YG09 to darken up a few areas and then blend it out just a little bit with YG06. Now YR16 to color in the lips and the fins and then Y06 to color that luminescent lure which did you know is actually called the Esca. So for this little guy here, I decided I wanted him to be a bright blue. So I'm gonna start with B B21 and lay down a base layer and then come in with B26 and then B28 and blend it out by working my way back down through those same colors. Now his fins and eyelid are colored with G05 and G07 and I blend the eye area out with G02. The hat is colored with YR16 and BG18, BG15, and BG13. And then I colored the balloon with R29 and R59. Now for the last fish, I'm using YR68 and B28. I use Y06, Y08, and Y38 to color that little gift bag. And for the cake, I'm just going to pull colors from each of those fish to color in this cake. Now, once I'm done coloring the images, I go ahead and run these through my scan and cut, but you could easily fussy cut these if you wanted to. Now, I want to create some quick backgrounds for the images, so I grabbed two stencils, the Speckled Heart stencil and the Swish stencil, which are both available at Whimsy Stamps. I'm going to add some of the... Uh, ink to these and <laughs> get my thoughts together here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my blender brushes and add memento inks in the color rosebud and teal zeal. I start with that rosebud color working with a heavy pressure on the outer areas and lighting, lightening the pressure as I move toward the center. I'm going to stop at the halfway point and then I'm going to repeat that with the teal zeal ink and a very light pressure to blend the two colors together. Now my favorite part is the reveal. 
And this is one of my all time favorite stencils. I absolutely love this stencil. So here we go. There's our stenciled background with our fish. So cute. So the swish stencil is great for like water backgrounds, like I'm going to use it here. So I'm just going to use a blue ink and lay this ink down, heavy pressure in some areas and then light pressures in other areas. So I'm going to use pink and blue cardstock. I'm going to trim it down to frame our stenciled backgrounds. And I just use Gina K Connect glue to adhere the stenciled backgrounds to the cardstock and then trim them down with my paper trimmer. I'm going to go ahead and place a piece of vellum in my mini misty and arrange the sentiments around the fish. I'm going to remove the images, add anti-static powder to the vellum, stamp the sentiments using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and then add black embossing powder to them and heat set them with a preheated heat gun. Now, once the embossing powder cools, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around blue cardstock with our stenciled background. And then I'm going to use tear it tape to hold it in place. Now, I love using vellum on cards. I like the way that it softens it up. It adds a fun touch to it. So there we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and add this to our card base. And I'm just going to use tear it tape on the back and then go ahead and adhere it to the card. Now I'm using all the card bases I'm using are five by five inch and they're 110 pound card stock. Now from the start, I knew I was going to put this cake in the angler fish's mouth. So I play around with it a bit and I, then I decide that the best option is to trim the cake down and let the mounting foam hold it in place. Now I'm just going to go ahead and arrange the fish back around those sentiments and I'm just holding them in place with mounting foam. So for this next card, it's super simple. I've already adhered the frame stenciled background to my card base and I'm going to stamp that line and hook from the Best Fishes Sentiment Set using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mounting foam to the back of the fish and then go ahead and arrange them on the front of the card. Once I have that done, then I'll stamp the sentiment hooked on you from that same sentiment set, the best fishes sentiment set. And then I'm going to trim it down with my paper trimmer, add it to pink cardstock and then add a little bit of mounting foam to the back of it and go ahead and place it on the card. So like I said, this one is super simple, but I really do love the way that those fish look uh, on the stenciled background. Okay, so I do believe that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I want to encourage you to hop over to the Whimsy Stamps blog and check out the new products that just released today and then come back tomorrow to my uh, YouTube channel here for another video featuring one of those new products. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to head into your crafty space and create something amazing today. Be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. And if you want to click that thumbs up button, that would be awesome. As always, please know how much I appreciate you joining me today. And until the next time, keep crafting.